Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take the energy metering one step further. We're going to take this, the sun off how, and open it up and then make sure to flash the sun off. Flashing the sun off to our own firmware, we will be able to actually control it in the way that we want. We will be flashing this with a system that can handle the MQTT protocol and I also will show you how to add it up to our Node-RED installation. To be able to flash the sun off, you will be needing an FTDI adapter that you can hook up to your computer and convert the signals from the sun off itself to your computer. In this case, I'm using one for the USB port. Links to buy that can be found down below. So we start off by opening the package, get the new device out, and we see it here. So basically, to do what we need, we are going to program this. We need to get this open. We need to solder on the header on this side there, so we need to remove this card or board. We have the board here and we need a header pin here. And here we have one and we need to solder this in place here. You could of course do this solder free, but I like to solder them. If you want it easy, check out the links below and buy the same thing as I have and it should work out of the box. This is the serial adapter from USB that I'm using and I got this wires as well included and that makes it really really simple to hook up. If you want a quick overview, check the links on the page that I have below and you'll get the description on how to do it. And there we have everything hooked up for this. So basically we're going to add the firmware to the son of POW. And I'm not going to show you guys how to install the software or set that part up. But down below there is a pretty darn good link to another guy whose channel is called QuickPie. That channel he have a really really good tutorial and I suggest that you follow that one to get everything installed. So we need to go to the platform I.O. to make sure that is selected and then we go to platform and upload. And when it's back here it's flashed. We go to platform and we take the serial monitor, choose the port and the baud rate to that and we start it up. And you can see that it's now trying to connect. And this shows that this device is actually working now. You can see if I press it, it starts on and it goes off. The MQTT still needs to be set up properly, so let's go in and do that. But to do that we need to know the IP of the Sonoff, because the Sonoff is actually connecting up to the system. So basically we close the serial port, and to get the serial port up and running we need to unplug it, go to platform, serial port monitor, and we add the power, and we start the serial port at the same time. This depends a little bit about the system we are running. And you can see we got it in time and we can see that the IP address of this Sonoff is this here. So we go to your web browser, that IP, and we are now logged in to this Sonoff device. You can toggle it on and off directly from here and you can go into configuration. Let's configure the MQTT. The MQTT user and password need to be set properly. And to do that, we check the ISO that I have been distributing. And we can see that the MQTT username and password is MQTT and password MQTT. So let's use that instead. MQTT. 
And we are going to change some, the topic to son of number 2 because that's the one I'm running and the IP and port are the same. So let's save that and let's go back and we will see that the son of is now rebooting. And we also can see that it did connect to the MQTT server properly. So basically currently we can send on and off command and those commands are also replicated to the MQTT portal. So let's go back to the node red that we have on the ISO. We are now going to set this up so that node red actually can see what's going on. We're going to copy this one here, export to clipboard. We are going to set up a new flow, flow number four. I will be in down below linking in the actual code for this. Import import and we get it here. So let's go into this one here and we can see that we need to fetch the telemetry, the NG from the son of, the son of number 2 because that was the one that we set up earlier. We also change the power status for this one to number 2 and we press down. We deploy this and we can see that they are connected to the MQTT service. We have the debug running so let's go to the debug window. We press the button and you will see that it gets the information from the son off. You can turn it off again and it gets the same information. What if we want to actually set the status from the MQTT itself? Then we need to send commands to the son off. First of all we need an MQTT output. And that one we need to tie to the local host MQTT and the topic is CMND slash son of 2 slash power in capitalized. So send command sorry we name it to son of 2 and we press done. So we now need to inject some data into this and we need to inject the on and off. So let's add those both. You need to have a payload that is string and the message sent is on. On the other one we do the same, string and off. And we press done. We deploy this and we can now check a look at the lead here. If we press the on, it turns on. If we press the off, it turns off again. So that is working just fine. So basically we have this lamp here that I have cut out earlier and used in other experiments. So we're going to hook that up to the system. But before we do that we're actually going to insert this back into the terminal or into the case. By pressing the button, you will see that we can turn it on and off. There is a little slight delay and that's because it actually sends the signal to the system. So let's add up the data to M on CMS and the influx DB instead, so we can do some graphing of the data as well. The son of number 2 energy is sent via JSON, so we need to parse the JSON first by inserting a JSON node. The JSON node itself is rather simple, but to be able to send this to the Emon, we need to convert it a little bit. But for influx data, it's just a matter of going influx, influx db output, you add that together, and you set up the database that you want to use. For instance, the Powerwall database. And we're going to add it to the measurements of son of 2. And we press done. So that's the first step. Next part we need to alter data a little bit more and we're going to use a change. We add up change like that and we need to change the payload to be message payload.power and that's because to send this to M on CMS we need to send the payload data itself and not a JSON string. And 
just to have some kind of output we are adding the debug as well and we are adding it to that node and that node so we can see what's going on so let's deploy this first we go to debug and here you can see the data that comes out of the JSON object and here you can see the data in the payload itself so the InfluxDB is getting the object itself with all the data in it and the altered data that we have here we are going to send to Emon CMS and the Emon CMS is set up with MQTT so we drag that in there the MQTT is located on the local host and we are going to send it to the Emon son of slash 2 and we're using quality of service null and we deploy that as well so it's now deployed like that so we are now going to head over to the grafana interface in the grafana interface we're going to bring up a new dashboard we insert the graph edit it and we make sure that we have the data source as influx and we go son of 2 and we go and choose the value of power and as you can see here we get the data out directly so basically you have the data here for the bulb itself the next step is to check out the Eamon CMS in Eamon CMS if you have done it correctly and followed my Grafana uh, ISO you will have it like this in the feeds you will directly get a new feed that is called the son of feed so guys I really hope you enjoyed this video in this video I took a quick look at the Sonoff POW and how you can integrate and flash it and run it via your Node-RED setup. If you haven't checked out my Grafana Raspberry Pi setup where you can use this and where I'm using it, check the links up here. The setup is simple and you can do so much more with it. In my case you could for instance use it for controlling your heating system based on the solar inverter, based on the output you get from the stuff in the system. So once again guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, check out the links down below for that. If you want to buy anything that I have been using today, like the Serial Inverter or like the Sonoff, links down below for that as well. And hopefully, I see you next time. And thanks for that. Bye.